Hey, Ricky. You said what? Let's still invite strangers. That's fine. Oh, well, you want to invite strangers? Can you do that? Do you have the ability to do that? Or can only I do that? I have no idea. Oh, okay. I, I was hoping you knew something. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, me and Tim are actually still cool. Hello there, Ricky. Yeah, me and Tim are still cool. I actually spoke with him um, not too long ago because I'm working on... I'm working on a book and a docu-series, so he's going to be one of the folks we interview for my docu-series. I'm learning how to twerk. Right? I absolutely love the Beetlejuice. Oh my gosh. I was, where did I get this from? Walmart. I think I got it from Walmart. Oh my gosh. There was... I've been suppressed for a very long time. Mental abuse is real, y'all. Manipulation is real, y'all. Okay, that is abuse in a relationship. Okay, hold on, I'm gonna change. Here, look at, um... Look at my unicorn while I change. Hey, hey. It's going with us taking life slow, right? Yes, that's what it's all about now, is taking life taking slow. Taking life slow, and when we're taking life slow, we let our drinks melt. My favorite childhood memory is a horrible one. Is it it? Children of the Corn. What was that? When I lived in Pennsylvania, and you told me that I live where they film Children of the Corn, yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, yeah. then you told me that you're pretty sure it was like that exact field over there, you and Jonathan, <laughs> and fucking traumatized me for like three months on some Children of the Corn shit. That's fucking hilarious. I remember that now. Listen, I, I don't even know how I like scary movies now because then That's there was also my she's my big sister. She's like five years older than me. So of course she's always like, you know, been a big sister. It's one of those things. <laughs> it's one of those things you do. You traumatize the siblings, you know, the younger mm -hmm. traumatized uh, Gabe. <laughs> do oh you remember God. when I traumatized him with that video? He would he didn't want to blah, blah, blah. He didn't want to go to bed. No, but I have really been drawn into DIY lately too, and doing everything. I um, I need to oh, learn. Yeah, how that's to what I was gonna ask before I forget. Since we're voice stacking, um, yeah. what are the creative things you guys are working on? Okay, go ahead. Done. <laughs> I love it. Well, we're working on something together, actually. Yeah. I'm super excited. The fact that we are alive and in this room right now is a testimony, okay? okay. Where is the church? Pass the basket. Okay? Yeah. okay. The fact that the three of us are in this room talking shit about mental health exactly. in the best way is a testimony. Because yeah. Lord, it has been yeah. a time. It has. It has. Oh my goodness, it has. Yeah. I've, I've felt the same way about going on meds like i was like people live like this <laughs> like what what do you what do you mean they remember where they put their keys what do you, yeah, <laughs> what do you mean what do you mean they they like they don't forget the most important thing that they've that they've ever been told ever in there oh okay so much trauma oh look he's i know so much trauma he said no it doesn't have to be little kids see so I can't remember an exact memory. I would have to really sit and think because when I tell y'all, I have, I stopped dreaming for about nine years. I swear, I feel no. like I've been dreaming for nine years. So there's really a lot of That's things. so real. That is yeah. so real. Mm-hmm, yeah. Yeah, it's mad wild. A lot of libraries actually have really cool like community events and like even if there's not community events, like today I had heard that there was like a double ARP meeting and then like a Medicare meeting or something. So they hold stuff for like the community. And the thing is also your local library usually has a lot of information on like um, local like small business help or like even housing. Like your local library is a really, really good resource. Bring, Maybe. Or just bringing in the library. 
free. We should go. You want to get a library card this weekend? Yes, get a library card. Go to your local library. Because I never had a really healthy understanding. Oh, yes. The Lord came through with that miracle. Hello. <laughs> No, Thank for real. No, I, like, not in the least, in the most loving and least condescending way. Like, literally, that is, like, earth-shifting for folks to, like, really understand how much you were anti, like, mental health, anti-medication. And for you to see a therapist and be on medication, that is literally the glow-up. Like, that is, like, the most divine glow-up. And I mean this in the most respectful way. I love it. Okay. I received it. I received because, it. Because yes, sis. literally. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. When I left YouTube. Yeah, Z, I had this really great idea to play, um, to start on TikTok. It's going to be um, TikTok taboo. So me and her are gonna play Taboo, but she's gonna play for the audience. But she's not feeling good right now. That's right. Shout out to me because you didn't even, I you knew something was like weird, but you didn't really like notice, notice until I told you that I grounded myself and I was out of it. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't until I got to, cause I saw you walk away and then like, I just, I, just, I thought you were irritated. Cause when I went like this, like I, I heard you exhale so I didn't know if you were like irritated and you walked away or I just heard the exhale you walked away and then um when I looked over you looked pretty calm with Brie and then when I got back to the table I meditated the fuck out of that man I like yeah. not meditated I grounded myself like oh language I need to work on that um I I grounded myself like a mofo and I am so proud of myself. I Brie, give me give me my flowers too. Tell yeah, me how proud of me anymore. you are. <laughs> because wow. that really, oh Lord, the way that that like, yeah. I was like, dude, did you see that? <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. I really pulled myself out of that. Oh, thank you, baby. Monk sent you a flower, Z. Thank you, thank you, Monk. All right, so back to my story, though. Oh, sorry. <laughs> this is a really cool story. <laughs> TikTok, I'm trying to build my TikTok now. So, you know, you can find me on YouTube, Instagram, Snapchat, but mainly on YouTube and TikTok. I'm really trying to build my TikTok now. And then, of course, naturally, I funnel to IG. You said it's my party, Z? Mm-hmm. I have games. I had a great idea to play Taboo with you guys. Oh, wow. Thank you, Monk. Okay. I, you know what? Thank you so much for staying around for so long. Transparency is key, baby. What up, Israel? Israel? Izzy. I'm gonna call you Izzy. Hello. Um... No, yeah, honestly, that's where I'm at now, too, where I feel like not only is it healing for us to tell our stories, it's also healing for other people to hear our stories. So, mm -hmm. but let me, let me, okay, let me try to, let me try to think of something that I can answer Monk's question. It's, I do not have anxiety. I have detached myself from anxiety. It's a different part. I no longer claim it. Yes, I detach myself from anxiety as well because let me tell you something, this Prozac and hydroxyzine, baby, okay? That's where it's at. That's where it's at. <laughs> That's where it's at. Well, Brie, if you're in the chat, I can't see your messages, but hi, baby. I hope you're doing well. Um, <laughs> Why can't you see Brie's messages? That's strange. I can't or join Olga's. you. I don't see you either. can't see Brie's messages. Listen, Olga, I already told you. I already deleted anxiety from my life. I now ground. I let the earth take that from me, okay? I don't need it. I don't want it. No more bad electricity. All right, I've let me get back to my story. I've been doing much, much better. No, but for real, I've been doing much better. He's a fucking yapper, too, and, like, look that up when you guys get a chance it's really cool and um i really related to his story what's really beautiful about the orishas is like um their stories are just so relatable these people these divinities like these energies are just so human and it's it's so beautiful but anyways 
Um, so I looked into that and I was like, oh, that's really interesting. But African traditional religions are from like the earth up. And there's something about that that really resonates with me. Um, anyways, so all that to say, I got this candle at the Botanica and it was the, our great angel Raphael. Thank you.